Hi there YouTubers, this is the uh, start of my second video about Brands Hatch and uh, all what it entails. When I was at that time I was working in, what was that, in engineering and uh, my boss normally knew where to find me on a Wednesday afternoon when I never turned up for work and uh, Saturday mornings also, they would practice days at Brands. You could go there and spend half a day for the princely sum of two pounds. <laughs> the insurance that covered you was really ghastly. If you got a broken leg or anything, I think you collected two hundred pound, which uh, well, then days it was quite considerable, but uh, not nowadays. But it was good fun. We didn't worry about things too much. So now we're moving on to some of my favourites. That particular bike there is a race kitted uh, three hundred five Honda Twin. I can't remember the designation number of it, but. This is a nice sitter BMW the man built, but uh, he bought, built that at the time all the kneelers was coming in. I don't quite know why he did, but it was nice. This now is the Works Royal Enfield 250, two stroke. Look at their van. <laughs> Not very glamorous, is it? But uh, that's the way it was. This is a very nice kitted out Bonneville, standard Triumph frame, and uh, come up now to a lovely gold star 500 clubman very neat and tidy very clean bike this is what I always wanted myself and I never had the funds to buy it a Greaves Silverstone two stroke quite competitive in their time but uh, broke my heart never getting one of them love one now even never know this is the television in my living room it used to be the Saturday afternoon scramble on the television ITV I think it was Brand, uh, this is uh, Johnson's Cafe on the aptly named Death Hill, which was the A20, where we used to normally end up after the meetings and uh, Saturday afternoons and evenings. And uh, there was the notorious runs down to the route and roundabout and that kind of thing. This is my present machine. Hope you like it. I'm trying to take a picture of this once before, but it was no good. The sound quality is a little bit better now. As uh, you, as you can no doubt see, my sheds are a little bit crowded. But um, I'll try and bring you a couple of shots of the other bikes people wanted to see. This is the Armstrong X British Army 500 MT. Uh, it's got a 500 Rotax Austrian engine in it. Then stepping back, this is the Condor, which uh, is X Swiss Army. 350, 1977, it has, uh, well, some say that was made completely by Ducati, but slipped in the back door of the Condor factory, <laughs> whether that's true or not, I don't know, but uh, the majority of it is Ducati, and Gramica brakes, and uh, so, so forth, like, but uh, you just have to take what you're told. It's got a variety of features, if you uh, look down the side here, just in, I'll zoom in there, and uh, where is it, oh yeah up there on the front, one each side is where they used to stick their rifles, and uh, I was an amount of stuff comes with it, okay.